Okay, friends, I am so excited for morning meeting today. It is Thursday, and are you ready for a greeting? Okay, here we go. You can choose to either get a wink as a greeting, or you can choose a snake kiss. You make your choice now. Okay, if you chose a wink, here we go. Awesome, if you chose a snake kiss, here we go. And you can even snake kiss someone by you. If you have a family member by you, give them a snake kiss. Love it. Well, we are going to go right into our song to unite. So today we are going to do rise and shine. Everybody stand up on your feet. Let's get ready to rise and shine. Stand up. Here we go. Ready? Rise and shine and Welcome to morning meeting, rise and shine, and welcome to morning meeting, rise and shine, and welcome to morning meeting, we're so glad you're here. A little bit louder, here we go, rise and shine, and welcome to morning meeting, rise and shine, and Welcome to morning meeting, rise and shine, and welcome to morning meeting, we're so glad you're here. A little bit quieter, ready, rise and shine, and welcome to morning meeting, rise and shine, and welcome to morning meeting, rise and shine, and Welcome to morning meeting. We're so glad you're here. Whisper voices. Ready? Rise and shine. And welcome to morning meeting. Rise and shine. And welcome to morning meeting. Rise and shine. And welcome to morning meeting. We're so I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for rising and shining with me. Okay, let's do our breath for today. So yesterday we did the rainbow breath. Today we are going to do the zipper breath. So we haven't done the zipper breath in quite a while. So let's review it quick. So you are going to breathe in. You're going to have your zipper down here. Put your car in your garage. Your pretend car in your garage. Okay, you're going to breathe in. And as you breathe out, you're going to zip up your coat or your jacket or your sweatshirt. Just pretend though. Ready? Watch me first. Zip. Oh, that was a fun one. Let's do three zipper breaths together. Here we go. Car in your garage. Ready? Zip. Number one is done. Number two. Ready? Zip. Number two is done. Number three. Ready? Zip. Oh, I loved doing the zipper breath with you. Thank you. Let's move in our into our activity to connect. So we're going to do row, row, row your boat. So grab your partner. That might be a family member or it might be a baby or a stuffed animal. I'm going to have my baby here with me today. Let's get ready to row, row, row your boat. So sit crisscross applesauce, grab your partner's hands, and we're going to sing together. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. What comes next? Oh, the storm, here it comes. We have to row really fast to get out of the storm, but don't tip out of your boat. Be careful. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Phew, we made it, we made it, thank goodness. Now what do we see? You got it, the nice calm waters. Let's row our boats nice and calm and gentle. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life 
life is but a dream. Awesome. Give your partner a high five, a fist bump, or a hug. You ready, partner? High five. Love it. Thank you for being my partner. Awesome. I love that. So let's do our commitment. So it's my job and your mom and your dad and whoever the adult is that's with you. It's our job to keep you safe. And it's your job to keep it that way. You got it. So that means that if they ask you to do something, you should do it because they're asking you to be safe. Mm -hmm. They're keeping you safe. Let's check in. So yesterday, our commitment was to clean up your work area and put away everything you took out. So did you do that? Did you clean up when you were all done playing? Thumbs up. Did you forget to clean up? Oh, no. If you forgot, then clean up again um, at today after you play. Um, and remember, your work area, that might be your, where you're doing schoolwork. That might be something else. Make sure that you're cleaning up whatever you play with at home, just like we do at school. Let's talk about today's commitment. Remember, a commitment is a promise, so something we promise to do. So today, I commit to use kind words and encouraging words today. So what are some kind words? Please. Thank you. Oh, I love those words. Yes. So what do you think encouraging words are? Yeah, so encouraging words, that means that you are saying something very kind to help someone. So maybe you're encouraging someone to keep trying. You might say, keep trying. You can do it. You got it. You might say to yourself, you might be encouraging to yourself and say, I can do this. I can do this. Maybe you're building a, a big tower out of blocks at home and it keeps falling over. You, maybe you're doing it by yourself or you're doing it with a brother or sister. You might be saying to yourself, I can do it. Keep trying. I can do this. You might be saying that to yourself or you might even be saying it to uh, whoever's building the tower with you. Okay. Can you commit to saying some kind words or some encouraging words today? Yes. We'll check in tomorrow. Okay, before I wish you well, I have a story to read to you. So let me make myself a little bit bigger and let me grab my story. So my story today is called Schubert and Sophie Stay Home. Here's Schubert and here's Sophie. This story was written by Dr. Becky Bailey with Vicki Helper and Julie Ruffo. The pictures were drawn, so the illustrator was James Hirsch. Let's read this story together. Here we go. Things in Bug Valley have been different lately. Schubert and Sophie have been at home for many days. Have you been at home for many days? Mm -hmm. Most of us have either been at home or at a babysitter's or at a family member's like grandma or grandpa's. Mm -hmm. There's a new virus that makes that's making a lot of people sick. Staying home keeps families safe and healthy. It helps keep the virus from spreading. People all over the world are staying home. The first few days it felt home the first few days at home together were fun for Schubert and Sophie. It was kind of like spring break. Or a snow day. They played board games. They played outside. They took family walks. They even worked on a giant jigsaw puzzle together. One morning, after about a week of staying home, Schubert woke up grumpy. He grumbled about doing his schoolwork. He grumbled about being at home and about missing his soccer games. He grumbled about everything. Oh. Sophie woke up grumpy that same day. She cried, I miss my school family. I miss my friends. I'm angry my field trip to the zoo was canceled. <gasps> hmm. 
we miss each other. And right now, do you miss us? Mm-hmm. You might be having some of the same feelings as Sophie. Their grumpy feelings turned into grumpy actions. Sophie grabbed Schubert's pencil and as he did his schoolwork. Schubert yelled, Stop! Mom! Sophie keeps bothering me! How does Schubert feel right now? He might feel a little angry or grumpy like we talked about. Yeah. Hmm. Mom was feeling grumpy that day, too. She snapped at Schubert and Sophie. Can you two just stop fighting? Dad growled loudly. Enough! Oh, no. Mom doesn't look very happy, and neither does Dad. I think everyone in the family is a little bit grumpy. It was like the whole family had forgotten how to solve some problems. Oh, they forgot how to ask for a turn. They forgot how to use their big voices. They even forgot how to take a deep belly breath. Some days, staying home was really hard. Mm -hmm. Mom and Dad heard the frustration in their own voices and felt the knots in their stomach. They looked at each other and then both took three deep breaths together. Finally, Dad said, It's hard to have so many changes. It seems like we're all feeling big feelings, like sad and frustrated. I think Dad is right. Mom said, Schubert, you wanted to go to your soccer games and practice with your friends. Schubert nodded. Mom continued, Sophie, you wanted to go to the zoo with your class and play with your friends. <coughs> <coughs> Sophie nodded. Mom continued, we can all handle staying home. It's hard, but we can handle it. Breathe with me. The whole family took three slow, deep breaths together. Their shoulders relaxed, their eyes softened, and the knots in their tummies faded away. That evening at dinner, Schubert said, One of our class assignments from Mrs. Bookbinder is to write down one thing we're grateful for each day. Even after my grumpy day, I wrote that I'm grateful for my family. Sophie had an idea. Let's all share our gratefulness. So they took turns sharing their gratitude. It felt so wonderful that they decided to make a sharing gratefulness a regular part of their dinner time ritual. The end. So I want you to tell me what's one thing that you are grateful for? What are you happy to have in your life? I'm really happy to have my family at home, and I'm happy to have my school family, even though we can't be together right now. I miss you lots and lots, and you know what? I will always miss you. Let's wish each other well. I'm going to put you in my heart. Can you put me in your heart too? Here we go. Ready? We wish you well. We wish you well. We wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well. I wish you well. I hope you have a great Thursday, and I will be calling all of you today. I can't wait to see your faces or hear your voices. Have a great day. Bye, everybody.